Next park on my East Coast trip is the one that I'm most looking forward to visiting. Six Flags Great Adventure. This is my uh, second time actually coming to this park. I was here back in 2014, so it's been nine years since I've been here. The largest coaster I've been at my home park at Six Flags St. Louis at the time was American Thunder, and so I wasn't an enthusiast yet. And I deemed Screaming Eagle as supposed to got me into being an enthusiast. And I did not ride that until November of 2014. So this is my first real experience at this park. And I'm so excited to get on multiple rides here, including El Tor, which is back there, and my top bucket list coaster, Kingda Ka, which you can see is just towering over everything else. So if it's anything like Top Fill Dragster, which is in my top five, I'm expecting a top five ride out of Kingda Ka. So that'll be awesome to get on that and also get my last US Justice League. I've ridden every single Justice League in the US so far, except for the one here at Great Adventure. So this is gonna be a huge day for me. So I actually got today and tomorrow. So gonna be awesome to get all these other rides. Also get on my uh, second RMC Raptor with Jersey Devil, get on Nitro and unfortunately ride another SNS free spin with the Joker. So should be a good time. So let's go in and have a good experience here at Six Flags Great Adventure. We're inside a Great Adventure and obviously I'm going straight for King to Ka first. And if that's not open after a couple minutes and it's not open when I get there, I'm gonna go over and ride El Toro, so I at least get on something. And then I'll get on like Green Lantern or Superman. I think sometime tomorrow, unless I pass by him and it's a walk on. So I'm gonna go over and check King Kai out and see if that's up and running or not. And if it is, I'll grab one or two rides on it. Ka's currently closed. El Toro, I think is also closed right now. So not the best start. So I guess what I'm gonna do is go over and do Nitro first and then go ride Justice League. I got my first ride on Nitro a few minutes ago and also two rides on Jersey Devil. Let's start off with Nitro. I did a back row on it and I don't know if it was running slow or what the deal was, but I was not impressed at all with this ride. I think it's like third week of BNM hype for me. The only ones that I have below it are Apollo's Chariot and Raging Bull. I got that I would like this much more than Candemonium, but that's not the case. As for Jersey Devil, I got a front and a back row ride on that and I was really impressed by it. It was running quite slow, which I kind of expected, but it was still a good ride. I would say the back is a little better, mainly because of the drop. And yeah, it was Jersey Devil. I'll get some more rides on it once I'm done. But now it is time to get U.S. Justice League completion. Let's go do this. I saw a cyborg cyberspin right over there, and uh, Paul just took right over here. Oh, yep, there it is. Last Justice League in the U.S. I need. You guys don't know how excited I am to finally get on this one because this is a big deal for me. I've been riding these Justice League dark rides ever since the first one at my home park opened up at Six Flags St. Louis back in 2015. It actually should reframe that. Uh, the one at, over Texas opened first, but I really want to say, this is my first one. So I've been riding it every year since 2015 and uh, finally getting to my last US one. And then obviously at this one, I just have Six Flags Mexico's left. So then I'll have done all of them. But once I get on the one at Great Adventure here in a few minutes, I will be able to make a video on how to score high on every single Justice League in the US. So that's why I'm really excited to be on this one. Cause, oh man, this and King Car are like my top two most anticipated rides of the trip. And it's surreal to finally be in front of the last Hall of Justice I need. Let's go. Last US Justice League I need. Now I gotta figure out where the heck the path is to get into the building. I think it's this way, but yeah, I'm probably gonna get lost at some point, but whatever. Oh uh, yeah, I think it's this way and it's a, it's a straight shot to the entrance. So this is gonna be awesome. Time to enter the Hall of Justice for the last one in the US and we are in. Oh my gosh, this is surreal to be here. I'm so excited for this, guys. Let's see how I do. <laughs> I can now say I have ridden every single Justice League Dark Ride in the U.S. I think that's a pretty cool achievement right there. Now, my second ride, even though I did better, I got stuck on it. So, couldn't escape that there. But hey, at least like I said, I've done every single one in the U.S. Also, like, it was so hard to score high on, like, uh, the screens were uh, misaligned for whatever. And the second screen, holy moly, I couldn't really do very well in that one at all. Like, the blasters were shooting way to the left from where I was actually aiming. So, not great there. And um, I just got word that King of Ka is up and running now, so I'm gonna go over there and get on that because that's my top anticipated ride of this trip. But yeah, just like I'm definitely getting several more rides on it, and I still have not gotten a Zen ride on it yet. So I'm gonna have to do that at some point. But yeah, at least I can say I've been on everyone in the US, so that's cool. I saw King of Ka running a few times, so yeah, I'm just excited to get on this one. It's my top ride of the trip, which I've already said a bajillion times, but anyway. If that launch is as good as Dragsters, I will be so thrilled. Ryan, who has ridden King Ka, he said that there are like three kicks on the launch, and uh, he, he actually never got to ride Dragster front row, where I did. So I'll be able to tell him how a front row on Dragster compares to front row on King Ka, because if you know me, then you know that I'm riding 
front row on every Ford's launch coaster, every single ride, unless it's just a sightseeing. And Kinokai is no exception to that. So I have no desire to ride anywhere else except for front row on Kinokai, because, well, why mess with a good thing? That launch looks so good up there. And I cannot wait to experience it a few times. And also, I'll be able to compare it to uh, Storm Runner. Oh, uh, that sound, I think, is the launching it. What's going on? The like Golden Canyon section of the park, which is where I'm in right now, it looks great. Eh. Such a cool atmosphere. So let's go take a ride on this amazing Intamin's drone. Also, I have not seen El Toro run yet, so that kind of worries me that it might not open because I know Toro's been having some issues the past few years and I hope that it's going to open at some point today. Oh, here's something. Oh, that's Kinaka. Yep, there it goes. Up and over the top. Oh, and Toro's going. Awesome. <laughs> Stuff into a locker. I'll catch up with the other when I'm off. Oh my word, Kinga freaking Ka. Oh man, I am at a loss of words. That launch, that's my new top coaster element. I mean, sorry, Dragster, you've been bumped to number two. But man, 128 miles an hour, that just hits differently. Unfortunately, right after I got off the ride, broke down. So yeah, that's very unfortunate for uh, my mom and brother who were next to get on and broke. As for ranks overall, I think it might be my new number two. I can't put it over Voyage, but I think I would take that over Velocicoast Run. So that launch, absolutely insane. I don't think anything will really beat that anytime soon on this trip, honestly. I think Kenny Cod secured a spot in the top uh, coastal trip, and I say it's better than Velocicoast trip. That's my number two, so Kenny Cod is amazing. <laughs> King Nikon's launch is such an adrenaline rush. I just did it a second time and holy cow, that launch is just nuts. Definitely the best coach element I've experienced and uh, I don't know what I'll be able to top that. That was just absolutely absurd. <laughs> El Toro for my first time. I'm definitely not expecting this to be better than Kina Ka or even my number one at all. And uh, the reason I said that is because uh, Voyage is my number one and that's also a wind coaster. So yeah, will this be my number one, Woody? I highly doubt it. I mean, there's like no way I don't think. But number two or number three, I'd say there's a good shot of it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ride El Toro now and uh, let's see how this thing is. Cause I've heard it's been through some rough times in recent years. Let's see if uh, it's running good today. Cal Casino Del Carnival, Plaza Del Carnival. I wonder if there's a way to find out if anything is fucked. Oh, there's more there's more public security dudes coming. So do you think it's somebody in the It area? might be. Quite a few rides have been breaking down. Like I tried to ride El Toro just now, that broke down. Uh, Kina Ka broke down right after I got off. Justice League broke down while I was on it. I heard Batman broke down, so yeah, not the best air at Six Flags Green Adventure. I'm sure the day could only get better. And we got all day tomorrow as well, so yeah, hopefully El Toro opens back up soon. After waiting way too long for that because someone unfortunately might have had a guest illness or something, and that caused the ride to only send one train with guests, even though they have two running, I finally got on El Toro. Did front row, and as of now, is my third favorite Woody. I can't decide between this or Boss for number two. I think I'll give Boss a very slight edge for now. Because yeah, I thought the sense of speed on Boss is a little better than that of El Toro. Although I will say the airtime on El Toro is better, but then again, I tend to prefer speed over airtime. As of now, I think Boss is like one spot ahead. I mean, I don't know. I might revert that after I ride Toro again. But as of now, Toro, I'd say it's a very solid number two of this park. And it is definitely not better than King in my opinion. Gonna go ride Joker now since I'm dreading it. And I just want to get it over with. So yeah. 4,000 S free spin. Let's hope it's not the worst. Boy, was I wrong about that. What exactly made this the worst free spin I've ridden out of the four? Here's my two minute rant on Joker. Joker. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Every time I ride a free spin, I seem to hit it more and more each time. Like my first one was the one at Six Flash Great America, did not flip at all, but I still thought I was uncomfortable. 
Then I rode the one in Six Flags over Texas. I flipped once and it was even more uncomfortable. Then I did the one in Fiesta, Texas. Uh, that was Batman the Ride. That one was even worse than that one in over Texas because I flipped like five times. But this one, oh my gosh. I don't know what the heck happened here. Like it flipped eight times, I think. Seven or eight while I was on it. And I hated it. I was like, look at this. This thing is literally, ugh, it's my nemesis. And it was like this whole section right here, the whole middle part of the ride. I flipped like four times in a row. And not to mention the fact that my head was slamming against the headrest so hard on each of the, well, uh, I guess parts of the track right there. And even though I stapled myself, which I heard that's what you have to do in order to get less pain on free spins, that clearly did not help one bit with this ride. And uh, as you can expect, uh, my head, despite riding defensively, it was slamming against the headrest so hard four times in a row. And oh my gosh. I said that Kuma was my worst coaster as of before this. Yeah, this thing is so much worse than Kuma. I mean, I'm sorry, Kuma. I feel like that Joker made you feel uh, quite as smooth by comparison, which I'm sorry, you were never smooth to me anyway. But yeah, I'm legitimately surprised that Joker did not knock me unconscious. That's how bad it was. Like, I could not even see straight after the ride. That's how bad it was. Like, oh my gosh. This ride is just so bad and ugh. I don't know why SNS recently exists. Like, oh my gosh, I don't get it. This ride is just, ugh. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm not, it's like one of the worst coaches. Actually, I have the worst coach I've ever ridden and one of the worst ever built. So, yeah, that's my uh, two minute rant on Joker. Since Joker messed me up pretty bad, actually, I'm not gonna ride any more coasters for a little bit. But I'm gonna go ride uh, Justice League a few more times. I think I'll do three more laps on it, I think, while I'm over there. And then we'll see how I feel after that. And uh, if I'm feeling any better, I might do something mild, like, I don't know, Skull Mountain or Dark Knight, even. Maybe Dark Knight, because I actually don't have that credit. And Skull Mountain is one of the few coasters I did ride when I was here in 2014, whereas I did not ride Dark Knight. And I think when I was here in 2019, the only coasters I rode were uh, Skull Mountain, Runaway Mine Train, Harlequin Crazy Train, which was uh, Blackbeard's Lost Treasure Train back then, and also Little Devil, which was, I think, Roadrunner Railway. So those are the only four coasters I've ridden up until today. And then I did Toro, Ka, Nitro, Jersey Devil, and now Joker. And so after I do uh, Dark Knight, I'll have like, rides like Batman, Superman, Green Lantern, and Medusa to do still. And then I think I might have done all of them, unless there's something else I'm missing, which I think there is, but I'll have to double check. So yeah, let's go take another ride, or actually a couple more rides on at Justice League. Just got a Zen ride on Justice League, and I broke the 400,000 barrier on this one, so awesome. Under 10,000 off of a 500,000 run. That's a really good round for this one, given how hard it is. And I haven't even done 10 rides on it yet, so I'm learning it fairly quickly. I'm gonna get up to 10 rides on this, which I think I'm at eight right now. And then I'm gonna go get some of the remaining credits I haven't done, like a uh, Dark Knight, a uh, Batman, and maybe also Superman or Green Lantern. And I'll maybe get a, uh, which ones I don't get tomorrow, so I can do so I'll probably do it tomorrow, so. Let's try this one again, see if we can break uh, 500,000 before the end of the night. I would get that 500,000 run if uh, the canisters in the jump room were actually hittable. I cannot hit the canisters for the life of me. And I'm doing like I did it over Georgia. It doesn't work, so that's providing a roadblock in my quest to get the 500,000 mark, but I'm gonna keep trying. Just got up to 10 rides on Justice League, and I'm gonna stop there for a little bit. I might come back a couple more times before the night's over, 
And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ride Batman and the Dark Knight because I don't have either of those two credits yet. And I heard that Batman's on one train, so I'll do that. So actually, let's do Dark Knight first thing since I'm actually right here, and then I'll go ride a. It's on a little ride. Yeah, yeah it's wet. Right oh boy. Love that part of the pre show. So funny. night done and uh i was the uh, only one in my car that one so i got a right on it and one thing i actually kind of liked i was able to see part of the layout when coming through the exit that's why i got some of those shots of uh one of those turns it was actually pretty cool so now i'm going to take a ride on i think this is the last uh, batman clone in the us i need to do so we take a ride on batman then try and make my way over towards superman and green lantern before the park closes i'm hearing this on one train so that's the case probably going i'm doing it now when i assume the line is short so let's see how this batman clone holds up to the other ones i've ridden Just like that, I have US Batman clone completion. That was a good one to make my last one as well because that was one of the smoother ones and uh, more intense ones. I mean, intensity was like solid for Batman clone, but the smoothness really stood out to me here. Each of the uh, elements were very smooth. Uh, no uh, headbang whatsoever, even though the ride did kind of make some weird sounds going through like I guess different track pieces and whatnot, but it wasn't enough to ruin the ride or anything. So overall, I would say Great Adventures of Batman is a solid one. And also the repainted guy looks nice. And I think I'm gonna get it on Superman, Green Lantern, and Medusa tomorrow. So I just wanna do a few more laps on Justice League to end my night. Cause we got about, I don't know, half hour till the park closing. So let's see if we can get a few more laps in on this before the night's over. <laughs> Justice League ain't gonna happen the rest of the night. They closed the ride early. And by the ride early, I mean literally the door to get into the hall at Justice was closed. And it's like a little after 7.30. So yeah, not uh, gonna be able to ride that anymore tonight. But if anything, it gives me more time to go over and do Green Lantern and or Superman. So let's head that direction and get on one of, if not both of those coasters before the night's over. Since I just got US Batman completion, let's do the same thing, but for Superman. This is the last uh, Superman Ultimate Flight Club I need to do in the U.S. as we're riding the one at Six Flags over Georgia as well as Six Flags Great America. So once we get on this, I'll have done all three Superman clubs in the U.S. And then I think that's also U.S. Flying Coaster completion in general, at least for B&M's, because I did Manta and Tatsu as well. So I'm intrigued to see how this one holds up. And I don't think it'll be as good as the one at Six Flags over Georgia because this one doesn't use a, uh, utilize the terrain. But I'm sure it'll be a fun ride still. So let's go do it with whatever time we have left. And if time allows, do Green Lantern. But Let's do Superman for right here. Come on, okay. Good. Look at the Green Lantern.
Solid ride on Superman Ultimate Flight to MI Night, and that is the last of the Superman Ultimate Flight clones I need to ride. So I got uh, US Justice completion, US Batman completion, and US Superman completion. And uh, yeah, overall, today was a decent day, I guess you could say. I mean, it started off frustrating by like the first half, and really everything up until like, I don't know, Joker was all right, and then Joker was just brutal, and everything else kind of got better after that. So overall, I mean, Great Adventure is a solid park for at least from day one. I'll be back here tomorrow. The last train of the night on Superman is rolling out now. It was like second last train of the night. So, yeah, I'm gonna get some uh, shots of this uh, last ride of the night and then, uh, yeah, I'll review my ride come from today. here at Six Flags Great Adventure. My final ride count was 10 on Justice League, 2 on Jersey Devil and King Ka, and then 1 on Batman, Dark Knight, El Toro, Nitro, Joker, and Superman. It was a really solid first day here at this park, and uh, getting on King Ka was a highlight. Getting U.S. Justice League completion was especially exciting. Uh, Joker nearly knocking me out and unconscious was not a great experience, but hey, at least I don't have to worry about that ever again. And uh, El Toro was good. Nitro was all right, I guess. Just Devil was good. So overall, uh, pretty solid day here. Now, there were some rides uh, that broke down. So you guys like that ride that I got off of Kai broke down. Toro broke down a couple times while trying to ride it. It was just a mess. So hopefully that doesn't happen tomorrow. So yeah, let's uh, jump to day two and see what's up with that. Day two is underway. And I feel like today's going to be more of a footage focus day because I didn't get too much footage yesterday. And plus, I will be getting on the remaining credits I missed, like Green Lantern and Medusa, as well as getting some rerides on Toro, Kinaka, and Nitro, and maybe also Jersey Devil as well. So, yeah, we got, I think, same amount of time today, so like 11 to 8. So, let's hope uh, the rides don't break down today like they did for some of yesterday. Rope drop just asleep because I am determined to break 500,000 on it. I had 493,000 last night. Nah, that's the closest I've been. So, I'm gonna be first one on this one, it looks like. Hopefully, they open it soon, though. Two rides done. Didn't quite break 400,000 yet. Let's try again. Five rides on Justice League to start the day. None of them broke 500,000, unfortunately, so that's all right. I might get it a little later on, but yeah, I'm gonna go get some more footage now. I think I'll start off with, uh, I think, Nitro and Batman. Also grab another ride on Nitro.
one right here. I haven't ridden this one yet to, for this trip. And I did ride this one back in 2014, so I do need a revised opinion on it because I don't remember anything about this ride, obviously. So it's been over nine years. So let's see how this is.
Mountain was closed, so I decided to try Nitro in the front row. I'd say it was a little bit of an improvement, mainly because the Helix was a lot better in the front, in my opinion. I grayed out pretty hard in the front, whereas in the back I didn't really gray out. And that's how that really wasn't much hair time in the front or the back, so I don't know. That show is still one of the weekend being I'm hyper for me. And uh, now I'm gonna go try Skull Mountain, which is right there, and then maybe get some more shots of Drift Devil before they go way over towards, right? It's like a Green Lantern or Medusa, because I don't have either of those credits yet. And also maybe ride Con or Toro on the way. <laughs> Skull Mountain was very tame. Didn't really get anything out of that, honestly. It was kind of mad. Now I'm going to try the back of the train, see if that drop is apparently good back there. Because I've heard it's a decent drop back there, so I wonder if the rumors of it being good or true. So let's go find out. <laughs> on Skull Mountain was way better than the front row. The drop was actually pretty decent back there. And uh, there was some good pulls for the rest of the ride. And now I'm gonna get some shots of Jersey Devil. And I might do another ride on while I'm over here, but at the same time, I am like, probably in footage of it, so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time getting some shots of it. And it looks like there isn't much uh, air for me to cover in order to get some shots. I really got from like here, down to there, so. This shouldn't take too, too long, I don't think. And then, I don't know, I might do a couple more rides on it while I'm over here, but I don't know. If not, I'll probably do it later. So yeah, let's get some shots of Jersey Devil Coaster.
got done getting some uh, footage of Jersey Devil. And now I'm gonna go over and ride Green Lantern because I have not done that. That's one of the only credits here that I'm missing. And I think after that, it's, uh, I think, Medusa. So let's go over and ride that and uh, see how that is. Getting closer to Superman's entrance and I saw the entrance to Green Lantern uh, to the right last night. So since we're getting close to Superman, that means Green Lantern's right around the corner as well. So. Let's go see how Green Lantern is. And I'm a little nervous for this one because I've heard that it's not a good stand-up. It's like one of the worst, if not the worst ones out there. So I'm a little nervous about that, but I don't think it can be worse than Joker. I mean, it'll take a lot to beat my ride on Joker yesterday for worst coaster ride. That was just bad what Joker did to me. So let's go see how Green Lantern is and hopefully I don't get crushed too bad or hurt. I mean, you can say, I mean, yeah, this ride has me nervous. I said one of the three coasters I was dreading the most on this trip, along with Sky Rush, which I actually enjoyed, along with Joker's Republic, which I flat out of the So I wonder if Green Lantern will be more like Sky Rush, more like Joker, maybe in between. So let's see how this one is.
Red Riders in the chase with the two thousand for the Buffalo and the Jayla have a great advantage of fights. More like garbage lantern. Yeah, that ride was really bad. Not sure if it was worse than Vortex, but it's fairly close, honestly. I would say it's just the intensity is too much on my legs, and not to mention that ever since the drop of the clip went up, it was like non-stop headbanging despite riding defenses. So yeah, Green Lantern, not a good ride in my opinion. Now I'm gonna go ride a ride that is really good, and that is, I think, El Toro. So let's head that way. Just rode El Toro in the second to back, and you're gonna definitely disagree with me on this one, but I think this is a front row ride. The air time for a lot of the moments were better in the front, actually. I mean, uh, Bull and Thunderhill actually like better in the front. Double kill dash were identical. I guess the back may have been a little bit better, but other than that, uh, the rest of the ride was not that impressive in the back. Like the first drop in the Rolling Thunderhill were both extremely overrated in the back, and uh, yeah, I wasn't uh, too impressed with that. Also, it was a lot rougher. Plus, the set speed wasn't as good, so I definitely prefer the front row on El Toro. So yeah, I know that's probably my hot take for the day, but yeah, El Toro is, in my opinion, not a back row ride, but rather a front row ride. And I can say that because uh, I've done both. Although if you prefer the back, then that's cool. I mean, I'm not here to say which row is definitely better, but I'm just saying, in my opinion, the front is a better row by a pretty decent amount. And I think King Nika is broken down right now because I haven't seen it run in forever. And I have not ridden Medusa yet, so I'm gonna head over that way here and uh, get on that. Heading down to Frontier Adventures because Medusa is down this way. That and also Runaway Mine Train, which you can kind of see right over here. And coming up here on the left, we actually have the iconic shot of Kinnika and El Toro. Well, this isn't exactly it, but it's very, very close to it. So yeah, it's pretty cool that I get to see the view again.
Zahn gewertet wurde. I get all the way in Medusa, which feels like you're going off in the middle of nowhere to ride it, only for the ride to break down. So that's just great. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ride Runaway Mine Train, so like I said, I've done that one, and then come back here to ride Medusa for the Reopens, which I actually did ride Runaway Mine Train in 2014, along with Skull Mountain, so. Yeah, that's one, that's one of the coasters that I do have already, but I'd still like to get another experience on it, so let's go give it another ride. Runaway mine train wasn't anything too special. It was uh, pretty jerky for a mine train. Uh, at first I thought it wasn't as rough as I remembered it being in 2014, but then there was one low to the ground turn where the train started bouncing up and down. And I was like, what the heck? So not the most comfortable. We got Green Lantern going there, which I'm not riding again. So I already got the crate and it was horrible. And uh, Kingdom Ka has been breaking down like quite a bit. Like I've seen them send like one train every 20 minutes and then I think I might have broken down right after that. So yeah, I'm gonna head over to Kingdom Ka because I haven't ridden it yet today. And then once I do that, hopefully Medusa will be up and running by then. And I hear the hydraulics going out, so I think we'll get a train going over top of it any second. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, I think it's all I hear launching. It'll probably go over the top any second. Let's see. Does it? Uh, yep, there it is. Kanda Ka is going, looks like. It looks like there are people on it, so let's clear back up and running. So let's see how this awesome Intimate Accelerator holds up compared to my rides yesterday. <laughs> Kindekai was awesome. Got front row on it as usual, and uh, that launches the adrenaline rush. And uh, right after I got off, it broke down. So yeah, they sent a couple more trains on me, and then it broke. So yeah, Kindekai is just having a rough day today. But I did hear Medusa running, so I'm gonna go over there and finally get that credit because when I tried to ride it a little bit ago, it broke down on me, so I haven't done it yet. Looks like Great Adventure Skyride is now open. I might have to use that to get to the front of the park once I'm done over here in the back. So I'm gonna go ride Medusa, get some shots of it, and then maybe I'll some more from El Toro over here. Then work my way back towards the front of the park and then go film Joker some more and then get some footage of the other kitty coasters I might have missed and then also go ride Justice League some more because I haven't done it since this morning. I had uh, five rides today on it, 15 total. I would definitely want to get up to 20, especially since they might close it early tonight from what I know. So I'm going to do that after I do some stuff back here. Look, they're not upside 
gotta be kidding me. I get to Medusa again, only for the thing to break down a second time. This ride just hates me today, I don't know. I don't even know if it'll be worth this wait, honestly. I mean, I'll still get it for the credit, but yeah, this ride is just a mess. And on top of it, it looks like it's running ridiculously slow, too, so yeah, not great. That's just great. Extended delay on Medusa. They said they're gonna be down for a while, so I guess I'm out of here. For what I'm gonna do now, I do need to get some more footage of El Toro from uh, over near the ride. So I might do that and then maybe catch the sky ride, take it back to the front of the park. And then uh, if Medusa reopens, I'm gonna take the sky ride back this way and get on it because I do not want to miss this credit just because the ride's breaking down so much on me. stuck on the mid course i heard it running but yep it's not open so i don't know what i'm gonna do at this point i think i'm just gonna go right just let's think a few more times and then check back here in a little bit but man medusa's driving me insane definitely one of the most frustrating coasts i've ever had to get on to be honest because it's broke down multiple times while i tried to ride it so yeah this isn't great
We're gonna keep marathoning this until about 7.35 and then we're gonna go ride Medusa. And uh, however not riding it to this morning, it's made my uh, shooting a lot weaker, I guess to say. I'm not shooting as fast. It's kinda off, so let's hope I do better. Which I had known the sooner, they closed Justice League an hour before the rest of the park, which I find very interesting. And this sadly means I could not break 500,000. Oh well. At least it's something to shoot for next time. Maybe the screens will actually be lined up properly, as you can see. Because when I was aiming at the screen forward, it would like shoot way to the right. So I don't know what was going on there. But yeah, it's a buzzkill that they closed Justice League an hour early. But if anything, that gives me more time to go and get on Medusa, because I still don't have that credit yet. And uh, got less than an hour until the park closes now. So. Let's go take care of that. Hopefully it's a good ride, because if it breaks out a third time, I'm going to lose it. got on Medusa after multiple failed attempts and that couldn't have been more forceless. It was running really really slow through the course despite it being in a full train and I don't know I just didn't really get anything out of it but hey at least I got it the credit so really can't complain there although it would have been nice if it actually delivered something. Despite today being more about getting shots than actually riding stuff, I did manage 11 rides on Justice League, 2 on Skull Mountain, and then 1 on El Toro, Green Lantern, Kindakoff, Medusa, Nitro, and Runaway Mine Train. 
As for both days I was here, let's take a look at that and see what else I wrote. Over the course of both days here at Six Flags Great Adventure, my final ride count was 21 on Justice League, 3 on King Ka, 2 on El Toro, Jersey Devil, Nitro, and Skull Mountain, and then 1 on every other coaster with the exception of Harley Quinn, Crazy Train, and Little Devil Coaster. It was awesome to get back to Six Flags Great Adventure after not being here for over 9 years, and uh, those were some awesome highlights. I mean, getting to ride King Ka and El Toro for the first time, getting my experience with the uh, longer RMC Raptor Train with the Devil Coaster, riding Nitro for the first time, and also I cannot forget mentioning getting U.S. Justice League completion. That was a huge deal for me. And I don't think I've ever mentioned this in any of my other things talking about Justice League, but the first screen, it was the version at Six Flags Magic Mountain for whatever reason because Harley Quinn was featured in it, which that was very strange. So, yeah, I'm not sure why that was the case, but it didn't make it necessarily any harder for me. I mean, it kind of digs. The waves were all off center and whatnot, but that was really for the whole ride, not just for the first screen. But yeah, I was cool to get U.S. Justice League completion, and even though I did not break 500,000 on it, I got close. So, yeah, it was alright. And uh, yeah, I guess I concluded this vlog. Before I click on this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. And be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video. And be sure to share it with someone else you may have. If you did the channel like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to 500 subscribers by the end of the summer. So I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you can notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks. So be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. As for my next vlog, I believe it will be from Dorney Park. So stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll see you later. Thank you.